Colorado is the highest industrial hemp producing state in the country. That's according to the site Hemp Industry Daily. In 2017, more than half of the nation's hemp production took place right here in the Centennial State. CARE X5's Julian McCarthy talked to hemp manufacturers and CBD sellers to look into how this industry is continuing to grow. The hemp industry is continuing to expand in the Centennial State. 2018 in Colorado, we had 30,000 acres of CBD grown. This year, it's about 51,000 acres. Curtis Swift owns Mesa Lavender Farms, a CBD product and lavender essential oil store. As a business owner, he sees how much the industry is taking off. It is going to increase in popularity. And it's evolved over time. There's more processors, there's more, uh, there's brands that are looking at this that, you know, we're all familiar with. Joseph Nunez is the president of EcoGen Labs, a Palisade CBD manufacturing company. He recounts what the industry was like initially many years ago. A few farmers that somehow got their hands on some, some hemp seeds and they were trying to grow it and figure it out. Now Joseph's company is a national industry leader of specialty hemp-derived ingredients. From seed to shelf, EcoGen Labs is fully vertically integrated, offering everything from state-of-the-art genetics to finished white label products. We literally grow and make our own genetics, the plants you see behind us here. And then you know, we actually build all of our own extraction equipment in-house. As the sales coordinator for EcoGen Labs, Kate sees CBD as a product suited to a large demographic. Concerned pet owners to folks who have children that have different you know, illnesses, epilepsy is a big one, to you know, an aging population who's dealing with arthritis. And something important to note about the product is... The plants that we grow and, and process, they don't have any ability to get you high. They don't have any psychoactive effect. As CBD increases in popularity, so does the research. A little bit more market research happening as well as scientific research happening. So I think it's evolving. First on the Western Slope, Jillian McCarthy, KREX 5 News.